Okay, so like many of you guys, I just got an Arctic cooler and within five minutes of owning it, I realized this thing's heavy and it's going to be really heavy when it's filled with ice and beer. So I needed wheels because we go camping and I got to be able to move this thing around. So I decided to make something simple myself and cost me about a hundred bucks and uh, used everyday tools that any guy's got in their garage. All right, first thing you're going to need to do is decide what kind of casters you want. I wanted like a big all-terrain type caster for my cooler since we use it for camping. So I went with these Harbor Freight casters, they're pneumatic, um, they're about 14 bucks a piece. I got two fixed and I have two swivel um, to give me a good uh, stance for the heavy cooler to move around. Next you're going to need a piece of plywood, so I went and got the 15 16 inch piece of plywood. It actually comes from Home Depot in this size for about 14 bucks. I also bought about 16 one and a half inch long 3 8 carriage bolts with washers and nut for, to bolt on the casters. And then for the stabilization pins that, that will support un, into the cooler feet to keep it from sliding, um, I got this little doodad here that I'll show you later on. And then four 3 8 one and a half inch long bolts with a washer. As far as tools, um, literally I used a pencil. I used a scroll saw, a 916 socket wrench, tape measure, and also just a 3 8 bit power drill. The other part that I had to buy was a strap. Um, you can buy really any strap that you like. And uh, next we'll get started in showing you how to build this thing. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is just lay your plywood down on the floor, take your cooler and set it down on top of the board. It doesn't really matter where. And just take a pencil and trace the base of the cooler all the way around on the board. And that'll give you a good outline of how big the cooler is and uh, help you set your caster locations. Okay, so the, the second thing I took into consideration was on the Arctic and the Yetis, they had this uh, foot with a hole in it. And I was gonna utilize this hole to put pins up through the board to keep the cooler from sliding laterally when I'm pulling it across the terrain. The other thing to take into consideration is that there is a drain plug on one side of the cooler, so you wanna make sure that whenever your strap's coming down eventually that you leave some clearance there so you can take the, the uh, drain plug out while the uh, cooler is still on the cart. Okay, before we go about uh, laying out the casters, I wanted to show you kind of the idea that I had in my head for the design. I knew I wanted a flat piece of board with four pins um, that, will hold, that will slip into the bottom of the cooler to keep it from sliding laterally, and I knew I needed four bolts for each of the casters. So at this point, you're gonna have the outline of your cooler on your board. Um, what, so when you're laying out your casters, just make sure you pull them out and you have the clearance that you need to get the swivel that you want, okay? Leave room on the ends to be able to get these pins in there for the feet of the cooler. So you have to pull your casters in just a little bit to give you some room to put those in through the bottom. So basically, once you lay the casters out where you want them, I just take my pencil and I just traced in the holes where the casters were gonna go. And I transcribed based on the measurements from the cooler feet um, where I wanted these holes for the pins to go in to, to, to meet up exactly with the feet of the cooler. Once you have your casters marked, you pull off the caster, you drill it in with a 3 8 bit right where you uh, have each hole for the caster, and you drill the holes for your pins. Okay, so after you got your holes drilled, you've got your outline drawn out, all you do is take your scroll saw and you just saw the perimeter of the shape that you need to meet your needs for your cooler. Okay, now you have your shape for your cooler base, you got all your uh, holes drilled, and the outline of your cooler is uh, complete. And one thing I want to show you a close up here is that you have to keep in mind on the cooler there's some straps that are going to come down. So what I did just for uh, keep the straps in place is I notched out a little area here on the ends to line up right where the straps are going to come down and wrap underneath the cooler. Okay, all you got to do now is uh, set your casters in, in place and just uh, use your bolts to take the washer on this side, you put the bolt and the washer on this side, the lock nut and the nut go underneath the caster, do that 16 times and tighten down your casters and uh, the wheels are done. For your pins, you take this piece here and you place it on the top and I was able just to push it in uh, like so and you go underneath with your bolt and you uh, basically tighten this down and it comes up all the way, uh, gives you about an inch of a pin and then they sell these little rubber caps here at Home Depot in the, in the hardware section. They're called safety caps 
and I just put those on there to keep the uh, nuts from scr uh, scratching the base of the cooler. Okay, so before I move on, I, do, I will say that um, I did go over the, the wood with a light coat of spray um, of sandpaper, and then I went ahead and sprayed it down with some flat black spray paint just to give it some aesthetics and to provide some limited weather protection, um, although I don't see this thing sitting outside more than a couple nights. Uh, but it will get moist, so I left it uncovered. Um, so next, let's get this uh, cooler up here and strap it down. So just come up here, you lay it on top of your pins, it should slide right into those holes. Once it's lined up, and there you go. So all you gotta do now is strap it down and you're ready to go camping. So on the Arctic cooler, they actually have a strap down hole that we'll show you a close up here in a minute. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your strap and you're going to make sure your handle's out of the way. And you're going to feed it through and come down, wrap it under, come up the other side, and clamp it down. Okay guys, that's it. That's that, that's that simple. Um, as you can see, the cooler sits on this. It's level. You can load this thing down. You can put some gear on top of it. Uh, you can move it around. You can pull it with the handle or you can push it along the ground. Uh, I think it's a great design. Simple, easy to do. All in all, the materials with the uh, wheels cost me about 100 bucks to make and took me about a couple hours to put it together. So, hope you enjoy it and uh, get out there and build it and have a good time.